Hello there, Big Benedict here. We're playing Dark Souls 3 on the PC. This is my guided walkthrough. We're currently on part 31, Dragonkin Mausoleum. So here is, for some reason, Havel, and we'll fight him later in this stage, but I'm going to do it off camera. And I'm not sure why they put this guy here, honestly. I don't recall what he drops either, um, but there's an alternating spawn here. Sometimes you get this guy, sometimes you get a knight. So it's completely random. I'm not sure what happens here. Um, but this isn't too extensive of a video. And in the next video, we'll do the Nameless King. And I promised that I would talk about that in the previous video. It took me fucking six hours. Six hours to do. It's an incredibly difficult fight. But... I I was having fun though, that's the thing, I was having fun. And I was really surprised that I ended up really liking the fight. Okay, so we're just about ready to take this guy down. Parried his attack. I think my shield's at plus four. I, I just need a slab to upgrade it to plus five. And it looks like he's doing some sort of a buff. I'm not sure what that is. So, the Nameless King. What do I really have to say? It's a two-phase fight. The first phase is really fun. Fighting the dragon. It's just that the Nameless King... His reach is just out of control. It's out of control, his reach. Um, and we'll get to it. We'll, we'll get to it. So. So yeah, we've got a dragon coming up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be sniping him. And is this guy fucking dead yet? Shit. Come on now. I can't believe this guy. This is a hard area now that I think about it. Okay, so he's dead. Make sure you look around all over the place. Okay, we got the gravel, uh, the great shield there. There's some sort of a bell ringer over here. A bell ringer with a whip. Okay. So now we're going to leave the place. And I think... I don't know what these enemies are. Some sort of a snake or something. But there's one right there. Uh, I, I, I never mentioned my biggest pet peeve. It's, it's when my weapon clings off the side of a wall. And I'm trying to hit an enemy and I can't hit him because... My weapon's bouncing off a wall. I can't tell you how much I hate that. But it looks like we can sneak around these guys. Jump down here. And... We've got a big guy to deal with. And I thought to myself, maybe I could do a plunge attack on him. And it fortunately kind of worked out for me. However, my big concern was how much wolf, how much fall damage am I going to take when I land, and and then I was r reminded of the cat's ring that you can buy in Dark Souls 2, that minimizes your fall damage, and I was wondering to myself, well, where is that ring in this game? Maybe, maybe they removed it for some reason. But I'm just trying to wait for this guy to come out, and ooh. Went on, went on the ladder, and then we got the plunge attack, finally. I was kind of satisfied with that. I was happy that he got what he was due there. Um, I've tried parrying this enemy only to uh, come to the suspicion that you can't parry him.
So now we're going to come over here and they're going to put a dragon right in our way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snipe him, I believe. So pick up the item, kill the lizard. Oh, is this the one that falls off? No. But yeah. Look what happens here. He fell off. I hadn't f completely killed him. And I still get the, the, the drop. In Dark Souls 2, you would get nothing if that happened. Okay, so there's going to be a pretty abrupt edit. And we're just going to snipe the dragon who comes over here. Once these rock lizards uh, get cleared, I think. Yeah, okay, so you fall. Here's the dragon. And this took about like five minutes to kill him. See, stuff like this, like, I, I don't understand. Why would you put this here? If there's some clever way to kill him, that's one thing, but forcing the player to spend like 10 minutes sniping this guy I I'm just baffled it's really rude I mean just stop doing that that's ridiculous okay and what does he drop something good Wow, quite a lot. Six chunks? Wow. Dude dropped six chunks, man. Okay, so I think the bonfire is coming up. Yes, okay. So get prepared for a huge fight coming up. I've got some pretty good tactics to get you through. Okay, now this guy the barbarian here he must drop something good what the fuck jesus christ that scared the shit out of me my phone just suddenly turned on to a video anyway take care you guys uh... there's where it says the path that we need to travel and here is our bonfire so take care